Yes, hello, I'm Joseph Alpert, Editor-in-Chief of the American Journal of Medicine. I'm here to call your attention to a very interesting article in the July issue of the journal. This article by Orlana Barros uh, is from the University of Texas Health Science System in Lubbock, Texas. And they reviewed extensively and beautifully the whole story surrounding electronic cigarettes. I think everybody knows that electronic cigarettes have become big sales items here in the United States. What they do is, of course, deliver nicotine without uh, the smoke that goes along uh, when you smoke a paper uh, a rolled cigarette. Um, but, of course, they continue the nicotine addiction. Um, they've been at times touted as a way to stop uh, smoking, um, and others have feared that really they just continue the nicotine addiction. This uh, article reviews very extensively the physiology of what happens when you smoke these cigarettes, reviews the different products. Of course, there's no control on them, so there's a wide variety of nicotine levels delivered. Um, and in fact, the devices themselves, which warm uh, the nicotine product that's delivered, uh, on occasion have actually exploded and seriously injured people. Uh, so uh, there's a lot of interest in, uh, in Washington in figuring out what kind of regulation should be on these uh, uh, items and how they should be tested. And this is a very, very excellent article for clinicians to read because I expect many of your patients are already using electronic cigarettes.